हेलो एवरी वन सो दे वॉज अ क्वेश्चन ऑन दी एटलाशन कम्युनिटी टूडे अबाउट हाउ टू फिगर आउट आइडेंटिफाई द लिस्ट ऑफ स्प्रिंट्स नॉट ओनली स्प्रिंट्स बट द लिस्ट ऑफ इशूज वेयर द इशूज वर मूवड फ्रॉम डैक्टिव स्प्रिंट टू अ फ्यूचर स्प्रिंट सो बेसिकली इफ यू आर वर्किंग ऑन इशूज within a project using scrum you might be using sprints and uh, when you deliver your sprint ideally you should aim to finish all the sprints now if you don't finish all the sp- uh, not only really finish sprints i'm talking about issues stories so ideally you should try to deliver uh, what you planned for but of course that can not always happen and in those cases where you were not able to finish the stories you will move them to the next sprint or maybe the sprints in future now what <clears throat> what you can do here is uh, if you're looking at uh, this question i'm sure you may have a similar question now the thing is that uh, this is of course a bit difficult to do in jira natively although this information is there somewhere in the change history but of course you're talking about how to get this information now if you look at your uh, jira instance ideally you should try to use the uh, report that is the burn down report because this report will tell you what happened to that particular uh, uh, sprint if you added items or if you removed items from that particular sprint it will show you this information so any change in scope but they, there are uh, some jql functions that you can also look at for example if you want to know all the issues where the sprint um is closed you can do something like sprint in and you can type in uh, closed sprints so basically all the issues that are part of a sprint that is not active or in fact close sprints you will get the list at the same time you may have some issues that are also a uh, part of maybe the future sprints so you can also do something like uh, sprint in uh, open sprints and uh, this information here will actually give you for example this particular issue uh, this particular issue here is uh, uh, maybe it was moved if you look at the story and if you go to the specific uh, issue so this issue is uh, here listed under uh, sprint 1 uh, and uh, it might be also part of uh, another sprint uh, and uh, this information can be displayed here so this is something that you can do of course it is not really ideal but at least there is a way to do few things and that is what i thought i'll probably show you today in case in case you want to report on it i, I as i mentioned before ideally you should try to review this on a regular basis uh, try of course not to if, if this is happening quite often then there is a problem uh, and try to maybe not overestimate the work that you think you can deliver your team can deliver and also take a look at the velocity charts that will show you the capacity and uh, based on the capacity plan the work for future and uh, and i think uh, this is something i wanted to share today with all of you and that is all i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye